Hey everybody, so um, this is just an update for my channel and my fitness journey or whatever. Um, I haven't posted my weekly videos lately. Again, I'm sorry. Um, not many of you watch them anyways. It's mostly just my friends, but hey, whatever. One day this will get traction. So, um, yeah, I've been having trouble. Um, my eating hasn't been as bad as it like was like weeks ago when I said it was like really, really bad. It hasn't been bad like that. I've still been eating bad food, so. Um, and there was one or two nights in the past couple weeks where I actually did binge, but other than that, I've been okay. I still need to obviously work on my eating. My exercising hasn't been that great because I, I'm not as like um, down and like kind of depressed as I was, but I'm still not like in a good mindset and I've been trying and it's like when I have been going to work out because I have at least gone to a few classes every week, just not all the ones that I want to. And it's really annoying, but it's like, do I force myself to go? Because if I force myself to go and I'm there, which most of the ones I've been going to for the past couple of weeks, I've been forcing myself to go. But I haven't been able to force myself to get all of them. But then when I'm there, you know, like people say, like, if you're not in it when you're there, when you're doing it, it's not really doing much for you, which it probably isn't. So I'm trying to get myself in like back in the proper mindset. That's what I've been working on. So like, I feel bad that I haven't been on my work workouts. And I really want to go to them because I really enjoy them. But it's like every time I've been there for the past couple weeks, and I'm sure my friend Emily, if you're watching this, she's one of my instructors. She can probably tell that like I'm it's not I'm it's not that I'm in a bad mood when I'm there. It's just I am too in my head. I'm too in my head about everything. I'm in, in my head about, oh my god, like you need to quit eating so much. Don't eat a lot when you go home. And then I'm also like, oh my god, you've gained so much freaking weight. You feel like shit. Most of your clothes don't fit. Your workout clothes annoy you when you go to class. There's only a certain workout clothes that you wear to class because everything else is either too tight or you feel self-conscious because you can see your roles, even though I know nobody there cares because there's people smaller than me, there's people bigger than me, we all have different body shapes, and I know none of us care. But I'm in that mindset right now where I'm like, I freaking care, and it's annoying, and it's stupid, and <laughs> uh. So like, I'm not depressed and horrible like I was before. I'm not binging like I was before, but I'm just in this like, I don't know state so yeah i just wanted to give an update on how i've been feeling and why i haven't had videos um so yeah this will probably just go up early i'm probably not even gonna wait to post this till i would normally post my weekly vlogs and i might post another video hopefully soon maybe with some plans or something of what i want to do um because today's my day off which is wednesday i'm probably gonna post this maybe tomorrow because I'm posting a K-pop video today so I'm probably gonna leave that be the only video for today and maybe I'll post this tomorrow which is Thursday or Friday so I have today off I have the weekend off because this is my weekend off so um I'm feeling a little bit better today so I'm hoping that with like these days off I can um kind of get a schedule written down and try to motivate myself over the weekend and get myself in the right mindset. I have a bunch of audiobooks that I have downloaded that I haven't started to read yet. And when I used to work at my old job, I used to be in the car for at least half of my shift, if not more. So I used to be able to listen to podcasts and audiobooks all the time. And to be honest, I don't know about you guys, but that helps me a lot to listen to audiobooks and podcasts, even if they're not directly um, for like bettering myself or for what I'm trying to work on in my life, even if they're not, they still always motivate me. And, um, there's like some new ones that I have, like, uh, podcast wise, but, um, yeah, if anybody's watching this and has, um, suggestions for podcasts on iTunes, that's where I usually listen to mine or, um, audiobooks that I can download on, um, Audible, please let me know. Um, the things in, in life that I currently want to work on right now are obviously myself, as we can see on this channel. I've been doing a shit job at it, but that is what I'm trying to work on myself. So that includes my mental health 
and just my physical health obviously i want to look good for next year um so i'm trying to motivate myself and tell myself listen this is the season of hoodies and sweaters and leggings and that's fine and great and we're going to continue to do that because i can have myself until i start to you know lose the weight but my hope is that during these crappy months when normally people would gain more or just stay where they are I'm hoping to use that as motivation to get myself looking good so when it is nice out, I'm already, I probably won't be like fully to where I want to be by then because that's technically not that long from now and I have quite a lot of weight to lose now that I've been binging lately. So, um, but my hope is to, no, I won't have my final body by then, but um, I should be able to lose a decent amount of weight and tone up a little bit. Because I've also just been feeling so um, unenergetic, like not so unenergetic that I'm tired, but unenergetic enough that I feel like I don't have enough energy to work out. Um, I feel like I definitely, well, I probably have lost m muscle density and stuff. So like, that's another thing. The classes are harder for me now because I've gained the weight and I'm just so bleh and I'm in my head and I just feel like physically I can't do as well as I used to. So. I want to use this winter to get into the right mindset, to get this started. So by the time it's nice out, I can start to feel way better about myself. Um, but yeah, so mental and physical health and also my finances. Um, I currently do not have a car. I've always had a car, had a car since, um, how old was I when I bought my first car? 20... 21, 22 was when I bought my first car. I've had two cars. Um, and since then I've always had a car, but even before then, when I could start to drive at 17, um, when I was still living with both my parents, we had enough cars. No, we're not no way rich at all. No, no, no. But, uh, my mom happened to buy an extra car that was a really, really, really old convertible at the time. So we happened to have three cars at the time. So I usually always had a car to use. And since February, I have not had a car. <laughs> And it's because I'm trying to get my finances in order because, uh, yeah, as an adult, that kind of sucks because I screwed myself over. So tip for you younger people, don't go to college unless you actually know what you want to go for. And if you don't know what you want to go for, but you have to start college, just do the basic classes. And then maybe if you can't figure it out or you figure something else out that has nothing to do with college, hopefully your parents will let you drop out of school. I don't know. I didn't have that option. And then I went a second time, which was even dumber, stupider. Those aren't even words, but whatever. <laughs> more dumb, more stupid, <laughs> wasted a lot of money. Please learn from me. So now I'm in debt and my school closed and I'm trying to get rid of those loans. But like, you know, the government's wonderful around here. So I'm probably gonna have to pay them all off anyway, even though I'm discriminated against and I can't get a job, even if I wanted to from that school, which is great. Yay. Um, but yeah, I'm like running off into a tangent and I'm not going to edit this. I am not in the mood to edit this. So I'm sorry that this is going to be kind of long and rambly. But anyways, so yeah, I have had a car since February and it's really starting to kill me. So I'm trying to work hard and get some of my stuff paid off. I have two uh, cards that are very, very low in balance that I'm really close to paying off. I want to get those paid off, get my credit score higher. Um, I already know exactly what to do. I just need to work on it. I need to, you know, so anything in finance and learning about money, let me know about that below too as well, because, um, I need to listen to some more of that stuff as well. I have a podcast that I do listen to, but, um, any audiobooks or other podcasts would be great. Um, because yeah, I don't want to go much longer without a car. It's easy to share the car with my mother because our schedules, we work at the same place. So our schedules are basically in sync work wise um and otherwise we don't really do much outside of work other than like me working out and running errands you know like us running errands and stuff but still it's annoying because if she's working and i'm off if i really need the car that day i'm gonna have to get up early take her to work and then pick her up which no is not that annoying but still most of the time it's nothing huge i don't have to do it but i would like to so I just stay home and sleep in and then I don't do it. And then sometimes I get annoyed because then that's more to do on a different day off, you know? So, um, yeah, so I really need to work on that. 
so that I can get a car and then I'm probably going to have to let my uh, private school loans go into consolidation which I really don't want to do because I don't have that much longer I have like about somewhere between two and a half and three years left right 2021 no like two and a half years maybe yeah probably around two and a half years or something like that but anyways it's not very long but it's a huge chunk of money and I sold the car so I could pay for that and not have that happen but now I'm starting to think um I might just get a good credit score get a car and just deal with it I don't know I mean millions of other people have done this too so it's not like I'm the only person in the world who has this problem but okay this is past 10 minutes now so I'm going to shut up um any comments you want to leave down below like I said podcasts audiobooks anything you want to see from me in the future please let me know down below um any good channels on YouTube to watch actually too I mean obviously I'm on YouTube all day usually um so yeah please like comment subscribe I hope you enjoyed this sorry for talking way too much and I will see you guys in my next video bye